there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of February the 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Moon in the upper or uh, reverse position. Next, we have um, the Page of Swords upright, followed then by the Ten of Swords in the upright. And next we have the Seven of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have the Six of Swords in the upright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, your central energy, Taurus, is the moon in the reverse position. Okay, so the moon upright, <laughs> this is basically speaking of um, confusions, um, you know, having the wool pulled over our eyes, where things are hidden that we don't see, that kind of thing. When it's in reverse, however, this can indicate that the uh, the truth is out. We're no longer living in denial about a situation. We're seeing things exactly how they need to be seen in the, uh, and the confusion goes away and we can finally see things clearly. We're no longer in the dark about a situation. So that's good. When the moon comes up, it's better, I feel, when it's in reverse because we're, we're not so confused anymore. Coming into the week right off the hop, you have the ace, or the, not the ace, the page of swords in the upright position. This is um, an, a court card, so it could be representing an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. The page of swords in the upright position can often indicate um, someone... Uh, there's many meanings to him, just like there are to all the other cards, but he's uh, somebody who comes in and wields his sword of truth, but you have to be careful and take his word with a grain of salt because sometimes he doesn't always know fully what he's talking about. He's just a page after all. Uh, sometimes he thinks that what he is saying is the, the gospel, but however, when you look deeper, you know, you, with this type of energy, you just have to really look a little bit deeper with the information that this person is bringing forward to you. Um, also, too, the Page of Swords can represent um, uh, somebody who's spying or looking into a situation, um, maybe trying to get in a work situation. It could be someone trying to gather information about you, um, and he can uh, gossip and spread a lot of information around. He's also not a very skilled communicator, too. He can be a very um, blunt and uh, disconnected from his emotions when he speaks he's more on the logical side than the emotional side and he's wheeling his sword right at this card here the ten of swords in the upright position the ten of swords this when it's in the upright is kind of like the the last straw this could be you were communicating with someone it could have been the uh, page of swords or it could have been the Page of Swords has uh, told you things and uh, it could have caused um, some type of argument with someone and it's um, this is the last straw usually like the Ten of Swords in the upright this is like it's over it's sometimes when we've been verbally battling with someone over back and forth back and forth and then finally we kind of have that last uh, that last argument with them or those last words are said and it just kind of cuts the ties so it could be that some of you guys are dealing with a situation like that, but at least at the beginning of the week, just know that it's um, it's it's going to be done and dealt with, and it's going to be over because tens represent completion. So this situation will end pretty quickly. It could be because you know you learn some truth, you come out of uh, out of the dark about something, and it could be this uh, page of swords here is. Um, is someone that you learn something about and it's just kind of like the last straw but it's going to be different for all of you it's just a general read so moving on towards the um, weekend of the 16th 17th you have the seven of Pentacles in the upright position seven of Pentacles is a card of reevaluating things this is when we put a lot of work into something and we're stopping to reevaluate what exactly whether we it's worth it to carry on now this could be a situation because this could be all connected or this could be a completely separate situation. This could be concerning uh, something work or home related or something like that. But it could also be connected because 
I'm looking at all these cards here and it can connect all to one story because perhaps in the Ten of Swords energy, you now are reevaluating a relationship because maybe this is a, a relationship with a person, a friend, a coworker, or something, family member, and you put a lot of time into it. And now you're stopping to uh, sort of reevaluate the situation. It's like, well, yeah, maybe I got upset with them at the beginning of the, the week and I said, that's it. But now I'm stopping to reevaluate if that's because I did put a lot into this uh, relationship or situation. So I'm stopping to evaluate if, um, if that's the right thing to do was to uh, walk away from the situation. But see, the Six of Swords is here too to end the read. And this is the card that's um, moving away from emotional turmoil. So it could be that you're um, moving on. This is also a card that represents moving on. It can represent travel. Maybe some of you are traveling for the weekend, going away for the weekend, that kind of thing, or even maybe going on vacation and just sort of leaving this uh, situation behind. For others of you, maybe, um, you know, come the weekend, you make up with the person or so forth and uh, you guys, you know, agree to move on from this situation and move on to more calmer emotional waters. Could be that something just gets out of hand and um, gets a little bit, you know, gets a little bit hurtful here and then you reevaluate the situation. You either decide to move on from the situation completely or you decide to, uh, you know, maybe the person makes up with you and you, you know, come back together and you move on together and to uh, more emotional times because there are two people in this boat so all right I hope this reading helped you Taurus if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise I will see you next week bye for now